Hello Internet, I'm your only mate and it's time for another episode of Red vs Blue Season 15. This is episode 9. Now as I should say with all my reaction videos, please click the link in the description below to go watch the actual episode itself. Uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Then come back to watch this video. Okay. Good. Support the official release. Okay, so in the last episode we met the, as I always called them, fake reds and blues. Turns out they're another group of simulation troopers who go by the name the blues and the reds. Not as catchy, I gotta say, but anyway. So we left off with going to their underwater, like, lair, and there's basically two of everyone now. So... This is going to be interesting to see where it goes. I still want to know like, exactly what's going on with Church. Is he alive? Is it faked to lure them into a trap? Who knows? Although I, st Although I still want to know what is going on with Washington and Carolina right now. Because we haven't seen them for a while. So... Yeah, maybe they'll turn up this episode. Maybe they won't. I'm just going to show up and hit play now. Name, rank, serial number. That's all you're getting from me. Well, that's a good place to start. I have no idea what your actual name is. Every record I ever found just says Sarge. Well, that's because he changed his name to Sarge. There is no ploy. I just don't know your name. Ha, you think you'll just butter me up when I least expect it? Wahambo! You pry open my mind prison and suck out my brain beans. Well, I'm not falling for it. I'm old past the interrogation game. Pay attention, Missy. You might just learn a thing or two. Well, if we're not okay, going to talk, we can just cut. I don't know why you asked me to bring you here. To keep an eye on you. You see, Temple and Surge don't trust you. They sent me to find out what you know, so while you think you're interrogating me, I'll secretly be interrogating you to find out what you know about them. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, no. What? I, uh... uh... <laughs> yeah, you kind of did that, Sarge. Oh, damn, you're good. Please, <laughs> if you could just tell me your name. I underestimated you. The student has become the teacher. Touche. Just cut, Jack. Sucker, thanks for coming in. No problemo, what's shaking? This feels a little awkward, but I, I wanted to express my gratitude and admiration for you and your amazing performance back at the Gulch. Temple, we just hmm. met, so I should let you know that flattery isn't going to get you anywhere. You can't butter me up. But do go on. <laughs> I like that. The coolest thing I've ever seen, man. You fight like a freelancer. It was like I bore witness to a bright star of hope shone through the clouds amidst the dark and terrible whirlpool. Hmm, hmm. I don't think I've been called a star before, but if the shoe fits, this fight has been God, he's loving this. For us. What we're going up against. I mean, we're just a bunch of dumb rejects hurling ourselves against impossible odds. You give oh, why does that sound familiar? A real sense of hope. <laughs> well, it's not the first time I've helped a bunch of hopeless people in need. I'm just doing what I do best. Well, second best, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you know I do. It's sex, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the other thing I okay. want to bring up is perhaps a bit more sensitive. Uh, it's about that reporter. Dylan? There's nothing between us. What do you really know about her? Not much. She kind of helped out a little bit. Yeah, mm. I just worry about her agenda. I mean, those journalist types, they don't give a shit about real people. They just care about selling their stories and getting their book deals and leaving us pleased to our fate. I don't know why I'm focused on what his screensaver is. I guess. I don't know. Maybe you're right. She did warn you about that bounty hunter, though. I'm only saying something hmm. because I've been used enough times in my life already. Yeah, I know that song. Man, she probably led that asshole straight to me. Whoa, sick move. Well, I mean, actually, that's I kind of <laughs> glitch in the matrix shit is gonna give me a migraine. <laughs> I can't say it blame me, but it's gonna oh, be entertaining for me. Too, huh? What's your response name? Rock? Schmock? Or is this? Oh, hey, Tucker. It's me, Doc. Hey. <laughs> Where the hell have you been? What the hell are you doing here? Just hanging out with the blues and reds. You guys and my homies. What's up? You know them? Yeah. I was just telling Simmons and Donut your reporter friend that I met 
knowing these guys for years. Don't you find it weird that they're like, I don't know, bootleg versions of us? <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, no, it's actually nice This is what a, you like, decided to do after chorus. It's not on screen, it doesn't count. Booyah! A Gucci bag. And we're a Gucci bag you'd buy from a street vendor with vastly inferior stitching. Donut, don't help him. Why do you have a purse? They're all like Spider-Man, and you guys are like Turkish Spider-Man. They're the ding-dongs, and you are a dildo. I don't care who's David Lee Roth and who's Sammy Hagar. It's still fucking weird that they're two of everyone. And I'm still hot for teacher. I've been able to corroborate certain aspects of their story. In my investigation on Sidewinder, I found records of another Gulch of resin weed. This gulch was tagged as a prototype, but I don't know what for. You found that on Sidewinder, hmm. huh? That's where you met up with that bounty hunter. Well, yeah. Did your path have a sign that said, follow me to Lavernius Tucker? Well, take it easy. I had nothing to do with that. Yeah, fucking right. I bet that made great TV. <laughs> You're damn right it did. Oh, I just wish I had... You're not helping! Big... No! Maybe we can schedule some reshoots? Jack, nice. Super awesome of you guys. That was sarcastic. Come on, let's get out of here, Simmons. I'm not Simmons, I'm Gene. He's Simmons. <laughs> Tucker, come on, man. You've known me for years. Yeah, I just came over to say the blues and reds are... This guy's voicing both of them. You should make yourselves at home while we're gone. What errand? Our cloaking device is failing. We need to pick up some parts from an unmanned mining rig. And let me guess. You need the help of your shining star of hope. Oh, that'd be excellent. Sarge is already one of us, after all. I mean, he's joined us. I mean, he's coming along. Well, count the rest of us in, too. Well, I think it's a great idea. I can Not you, us. Let's go, Simmons. Um, Don't care. Just help me with my dramatic exit. Okay, then. A little hostility in the air. Let's try to make this quick. We need some electronics to fix our cloaking device. This rig is fully automated, so we don't expect to encounter any forms of enemy resistance. Hey, what's with your visor? Ah, uh, I've ordered my men to switch to blue to avoid confusion. A caboose and loco were having some trouble with that. Yeah, they weren't the only ones. Yep, I've just saved you. <laughs> Wrong side, caboose. I take it back in I mean, that's gonna make it easier to sell everyone apart, but. Not like this at all. I always say a marine without a code is like a car without a road. Fascinating. I always say the best defense is a really tall fence. You don't say. Hmm. I always say a good soldier is like a rolling boulder. Well, I'll be. I always say a monster a day keeps death at bay. Hot dog. I always say the only good grip is a dead grip. What's a grip? Oh, yeah. You don't have an orange one, do you? Consider yourselves lucky. Yeah, why don't they have an orange one? So, what did they? How do you feel about strawberry yoo-hoo? Really? But you guys are like twins. We are not. I'm nothing like that Gene guy. So much of a busybody, nerdy, goody two-shoes. Yeah, man, you just described yourself. Oh, no, just shut up. Well, how would you describe yourself, Simmons? <laughs> not like him. Ugh, his voice is so annoying. Scientifically speaking, I think we should split into pairs and maximize efficiency. I don't sound anything like that. Mm hmm. Hmm. Leech, I can't even imagine what those idiots are talking about. How do I possibly choose? Oh, they're big and thick. They fill me to my navel. Oh, God. <laughs> I find resonance in his perspective that a person is never simply the product of external forces. We can debate causality until we're both stiff in the earth, but it won't change the fact that Tolstoy was the more endowed. An endowed vision of the bourgeoisie. Mundane. Placid, and frankly, overrated. You are shafting my man, don't I? Oh, God. I must say, I do appreciate the discourse. Wait, is that Miles? These uncultured Philistines. We must use our mouths. That's gotta be Miles voicing him. It, it sounds so much like him. In our hands. Ah, Emil Stola, you are well read. Well, I certainly didn't just blow my 
I want on the Russians. I mean, I'm definitely hearing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, donut. Yes, it's like Christmas. Only with less egg dog and fruitcake. But the same amount of scared dog pig here. Great. Is that everything you need? Oh, yeah. Got all sorts of awesome stuff in here. I can fix a poor Texas pastor and have enough multicast and jet recoils to the iodized support field for sure. Me of that, Simmons? I understand Lopez better than I understood that. Loco's got a bit of a knack. If he says he's got it, he's got it. Mad scientist, huh? Well, technically, he'd be a mad engineer. Unless he goes around testing hypotheses all day long. God damn. I can't believe I have to hear this shit in stereo now. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, it's great that you're all safe, but maybe we should try to get a word of warning to your freelancers as well. Where are they? Knowing them? They're probably in the middle of some spectacular acrobatic fight scene. Kicking and punching and flying through the air. Awesome music playing. Wouldn't surprise me. Picture it now. Well, this isn't completely horrible. No, it is not. So that's where they are. Okay, so they've ditched the reporters. Uh, there's some hostility going around. Tugger's pissed about them leading goodbye to them. I know his actual name is. I'm just still calling him goodbye just for the lols. Uh, Simmons does not like Gene. So, yeah. That's, that's a thing. And I wonder if that's really going to play into him missing Griff. It's just... It's just really not the same without him. I, I'm, I'm sure he'll be back soon. Well, I mean. No guarantees, but I'm sure at some point Griff will be back. Or they'll go back for him. Something along those lines. Point is, Griff will return to the show. And we finally get some footage of Carolina and Wash. It looks like they're actually in, honestly, not too bad a place. Okay, so I'm still interested in where this is going and what this is all about. I, I did speak to a friend of mine about how potentially... Maybe Hargrove had some other people in the UNSC working for him. And they just worked out, hey, if something happens to me and I get locked up, make sure everyone involved in Freelancer is dead. And that's what they're doing now? Well, I don't know. Hmm. So... It'll be interesting to see where, where everything goes. Well, I know for now I'm going to end this video here. So, thanks for watching, all that stuff. Here's my Tracer outro. Bye. Hello, loves. Tracer here. You've just watched a video by your only mate. Subscribe, like, comment, and check out his other stuff. Cheers, loves.